If you think you're the best one when you do a bottle flip challenge, then watch this. I called it the copper wire flip challenge. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is sponsored by nobody and it's a sort of a week update video, so let's get into it. The very first update of the week is this desert fruit. It's actually an old model, but now it can be picked and it could be used both for crafting and eating, so your choice, but you know, it's not gonna feed you much. Um, let's say you're desperate, then go for it, you can eat it, but if you're not, then just don't. For the spawning of these fruits, I used the same algorithm, so if you have been a good boy and everything, you can find trees like this one. Instead, if you haven't been a good boy, then you know, you're gonna find trees like this. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's all up to the game, it's completely random. Or maybe in the future it's gonna be based on the climate, I don't know. If you have been watching my past videos, you could have noticed that there are many more craftable items now, as you can tell. And, you know, I had to update the crafting system. I added the electronics section where you can craft everything related to the electronics, but for those I missed many base materials, so I decided to start working on them. One of the items I really needed are magnets. So as someone taught me in school back in my days, magnets come from magnetite. So guess what? I've done a quick search on Google to see how magnetites look and I modeled it. It's not the first material I model for this game. So, you know, I had to stick to other ones somehow. And back in Unity, I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, I really like the colors, but my goal is to have magnets and not magnetite. I mean, you are cool and cute and everything, but right now you're useless. So what if I take one, I put into the smelter, I pick an energy cell, I place it in the wind turbine, I wait one second, I remove it to place it in the smelter, and I wait 20 seconds. Awesome, we have a magnet, guys. Um, Don't ask me how this guy turned into that one just by smelting it, because... I don't know, that's the cool thing about games, you do stuff, but you don't have to explain how they happen. <laughs> oh, if you want to see what magnets are used for, you have to wait a little bit, because I have to introduce something else. Alright, the second thing I needed for electronics is batteries. Uh, now, whether you're a grown man or just a little boy, you probably know that batteries usually are made using lithium. Luckily, I already have this mineral, so I just had to model a decent battery. This time I started from a cylinder, and in this part of the video I usually show a time lapse of me trying to come up with something decent looking and this is the result. It's okay for me, so let me give it a few colors and voila, ready to use. Uh, so for those who are confused now, asking, hey, you already have an energy cell, what are those things used for? Well, fair question, um, the energy cell is a lot bigger, it's used for different stuff like power the airship and stuff like that. While these little batteries are just used for crafting, um, just to craft items like the object detector, the, the range finder, and so on. So, the title of the video is Chests, probably. So, let's talk about them. Um, a few videos ago, I introduced the storage, which is really useful because um, items cannot be stacked in the inventory. And since the world is infinite, uh, it was about that time that I decided to place also random chests around the world where you can find materials or items or whatever. And I decided to use the same model of the storage because I wanted to have the same style, but also because of a good amount of laziness. To have it different though, I decided to change the color having a sort of a negative effect, so you can recognize it wherever you see one. This chest cannot be picked, um, you cannot pick it uh, and place it in your house. Some materials can be only found in this chest and it does not show how many items there are inside. A cool thing I wanted to add are GPS modules that you can find in damaged buildings and that can be used to have the coordinates of this boy so you don't have to look like a desperate to find one but you know this idea will depend on the final story. For this week update was everything I hope you enjoyed the video remember to subscribe to the channel to see what's coming next and also join the discord server so you can ask me everything tell me your ideas we have many channels for that and we are such a beautiful community. I'm so thankful to any one of you. Um, but, you know, that's it for today's video. Uh, as I always say, have fun and I'll see you guys next time.